Jay, today I want to talk to you with 10 things that you can do while we are shut in. If you are interested in seeing this video, then keep on watching. Oh my goodness, can you believe what is going on? Like this virus, this coronavirus is so very serious. You know, when they tell us to stay in, that's what we need to do, stay in. I know sometimes we get bored, you don't know what to do. You've been in the house for weeks now and things, you know, everybody's just ready for life to, to, to go ahead and get back to the way it used to be, you know, myself included. So I've come up with like 10 things. I wrote down some things that I've noticed I've been doing lately that has really helped me really take my mind off of, you know, you don't want to just watch news 24 seven. Just get so consumed with this Rona, you know what I mean? So you just want to take some time out for yourself now, just to just do some things that you really didn't get a chance to do because you was working so much or you was you just were so occupied and we were so busy. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna jump into it. The first thing that I like to do is read. I'm a big advocate of reading a lot of spiritual books because I am a Christian. Self-healing, things like that. I love those type of books, but every now and then I like to read my Brenda Jackson's, my Eric Jerome Dickey books. You know, just the certain things that I like to do just to take your mind and just to relax. You know, I don't want to read anything that I have to do with that has to do with school right now. Pick up a book, you know, start reading. You'll be it's, it takes your mind off of everything. The next thing that I like to do that really helps me focus is exercise. When you get up in the morning, right before between like six in the morning, I go to work at nine. I work from home. I've been working from home for years now. So when I get up in the morning, I had slacked off a lot. I haven't really been exercising. I walk my dog, you know, things like that around the block, but I haven't really exercised. So what I've been doing lately is getting up, you know, get up around six or seven in the morning, do a good workout, eat my breakfast, you know, exercise it. It not only stimulates your, your body, it stimulates your brain, your mind, helps you focus more. It starts you off on the right Foot, you know for the rest of the day number three another good thing that I really like to do is walk around my neighborhood now that is a, it's a form of exercising but just to get out and get some fresh air especially when you're being you know you, we are supposed to stay in the house only for certain things to go grocery shopping and all of that when you're you're in that kind of mode you're just really going out to get grocery or some things to come back in to stay shut in you know so Walk around your neighborhood. Another uh, uh, one of the things that we like to do, my husband and I, we like to have like a date night where we just watch movies. You know, sometimes we watch movies till two, three in the morning. You know, so especially on a Friday night. You know, we used to used to go out every date night. We're out on the town, but since right now we're having date night in the house, so. We would have our, our eat outside maybe on the on the um, on the back. We would eat outside on our in our backyard and come back in and watch movies. Stay up late till two or three in the morning just watching movies. And so that's a good thing just to schedule time with each other. If you have a spouse or your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know you want to take time out just you know to plan out some movies, pop some popcorn, sit in there and just catch up on some movies that some new movies that's out that you haven't seen. Do that, you know that. Act like you're at the movie. Get you some candy and sit right there and just relax with your significant other and enjoy the movie. We like to do. My husband, my mom, all of us. We love to play games. Scrabble, 500, Gin Rummy, Old Maid. It doesn't matter. Games. Play some games. You know. This new generation, I myself included, we're always with our phones, our computers, tablets, whatever. Sometimes it's good to just play the, the back in the day games, Monopoly, you know. Yeah, I'm telling my age now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just interacting with each other. It's amazing this time now being shut in that the things that you you 
really forget doing with each other but when you have to do it you're just like wow we need to keep this going you know so play get you some board games cards and just sit back you'll be amazed at how much fun you have so yes play some games we started doing yard work I wanted some flowers my mom is the queen of really um, having a beautiful yard my mom's mom used to do it and so she knows all about gardening she is hooking up my front yard with some flowers so that's what we've been doing yard work my husband is getting the front in the backyard but we're getting this little area that we're I'm gonna plant some flowers so my thing is uh, I want to plant some flowers and I want to have an herb garden what better time than to do this now this is of the things that I love to do for my family is cook I cook all the time but I cook even more now I like to um, food prep and cook food for the rest of the week you know so we can just have things to go back and forth you know just to eat I cook almost every other day because I love it I love cooking home cooked meals for my family and this is the best way like today I made a homemade vegetable soup you know it was so good but it was it's so much fun to cook with love you know and come up with recipes and things that you can do you have time now go ahead and use that time and stock up and cook your food you know so you can just have food readily just to take it out and warm it up and have it ready number eight take some time out for yourself what I like to do is run bubble baths and listen to my dress drink a glass of wine take some time out and do your nails and your toes because right now we're shut in so we can't really go get our hair done and our nails done which I do my own nails and hair myself but this is the perfect time where I do a pamper pamper me I may do a mask and my like a mud mask and just soak in the bubble bath and just listen to my jazz and after that I do my cuticles get them all right you know just take time out for yourself you would feel so much better and it's probably so very needed sometimes we do for everybody else but we neglect ourselves. so this is the time now that you can take out and just pamper you number nine what I did, um, let's see, this weekend, I changed out my winter clothes and brought in my spring clothes. Now, I didn't get rid of all of them because we will get a little cold front, a couple more cold fronts before it's officially starts really getting warm, you know. So, but what I did was change out to some of my summer things. Now, start my summer spring clothes. Go ahead, remove all the big thick sweaters and coats and all of that things, put them up. Then just reorganize my closet, get all get, get it ready for spring because it's fastly approaching. So that's another thing. Just to keep your mind off of this Rona. This number 10. This is very important to me. It should have been number one, but I just wanted to, to close with this. You know, when I get up in the morning, I'm exercising. I'm always praying for our nation to heal our lands, you know, to get rid of this coronavirus, to go ahead and let this hurry up and, and just be over with because, you know, so many people are losing their lives and their loved ones. You know, I hear about people cannot even be at the hospitals, you know, with their, their loved ones while they are sick and transitioning and all kinds of things. So, and it's really taking a toll on our nation as a whole so pray for our nation and just pray that this virus will soon be over that is all I have for you today I hope these 10 things were helpful when just trying to find something to do while being shut in during this time you know I know it, it this is a really a life-changing experience just not for me but everyone I've never in my lifetime would have thought I would see something like this I know they have people have had these experiences before with like different diseases or polio whatever it was but I never thought I would see such a time as this so you guys just try to make the best of the time like I say I hope these things was helpful if they were please give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel on the way out if you haven't done so already and I know this is a little different from what I normally do but I just wanted to just bring something a little different to this channel so anyway guys thank you so very much for tuning in as always peace and love until next time Mwah. for you bye for you say goodbye.